Good morning. We offer this morning's Mass of Friday of the 14th week in ordinary time for Immaculata Regoni. We hold in our prayers to our, our families and our diocese affected yesterday. We know that 20 of our Catholic schools closed yesterday because of this COVID devastation. And so many families and children affected by it, and so we pray for them. We pray for all of our Catholic schools in a special way for our own beautiful Catholic school that it stays strong in these troubled times. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Supreme of the Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who in, the who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar, and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade, and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim. What more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him. I will prosper him. I am like a burning cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My mouth will declare your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. My mouth will declare your praise. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, 
And in my inmost being, you teach me wisdom, cleanse me of sin with hyssop, that I may be purified, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. A clean heart, create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. My mouth will declare your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. Be aware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you. <clears throat> Jesus does not paint a very rosy picture of what the life of a disciple of his will be like in this difficult world. Jesus never promised anyone that if we're faithful and that we do what's right and we practice our faith and we go to church and we try to keep all the, the commandments, that life will, will just be, be very easy for us. And we'll be free of all the troubles that, that plague the human heart in this world. Jesus only promised one thing, and that's that I will be with you always, that you will not be alone, that it's not you who will speak in my name to my adversaries, but the Holy Spirit will be speaking through you. So do not be afraid and persevere and endure in the truth, for I am with you. Anyone who realizes that they are not alone, that the Lord is with them, that his spirit is within us, that we are his own dear children, that he knows every hair on our head. Such a person has nothing to fear 
and can handle anything. Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew in me a steadfast spirit, a clean heart, a pure heart that belongs to God alone, and a steadfast spirit that perseveres and endures even when we face great suffering and great opposition in practicing our faith. We know that that's the reality of things in this world. Even friends can leave us when we stand up and speak about certain truths of our faith. And that's the world we live in. It's the way the world has always been. For the ways of God are not the ways of the world, but our Lord is with us. He is the way and the truth and the life. What power we have when we're willing to suffer for the sake of Christ. In the ways of the world, it looks like we're foolish. Why would you live such a faith when you're going to when you're going to suffer so much and people are going to hate you and drag you into synagogues and scourge you and put you to death and family members will be against each other. Why would you want to be part of such a thing? Because Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. His life is within us. He created us for eternity, for a life filled with joy in his presence. And we're in his presence even now because he comes to us. We live not by the power in the ways of the world, but the power that are in the ways of God. And what did St. Paul say about our Lord's suffering up there on that cross? That in the sight of the world, that's foolishness and, and, and weakness. But in the sight of God, it is the power of God and the wisdom of God. We share in that power and in that wisdom, when we are willing to be faithful and to suffer for the sake of our Lord Jesus. As St. Peter said, be, rejoice when you suffer for the sake of Christ, for then the Spirit of God is upon you. The Spirit of God truly is upon us and will be upon this altar in just a few minutes as our Lord Jesus comes to us once again, as he always does and always will, to assure us that he is with us, that even though we have many troubles in this world, that he has overcome the world, and to not be afraid, for I am with you always. That's the promise that keeps us going. That's the promise that fills us with joy. <clears throat> Let us turn to our loving Father and give, <clears throat> and give voice to our prayers. For the church around the world, <clears throat> may she be blessed and preserved in holiness through the graces and gifts of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, the Lord. For all nations on earth, may God establish peace and security among them. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord. For all who are suffering temptation, may the Lord strengthen their resolve and lead them to a purity of heart and a steadfast spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. For your Lord. For an end to the strife and unrest we see in our cities throughout our country, that God will banish all hatred and racism and bigotry of every kind from the human heart. We place it in this peace. We pray to the Lord. For all of our children and families in our archdiocese affected so bitterly by the closing of their schools, God will fill them with courage and peace and, and protect our schools so necessary today more than ever in this world. Let us pray to the Lord. For an end to this pandemic and for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus and those who care for them, for those who have, who have died from it, and those who have suffered in so many, many ways from this pandemic and the shutdown that ensued, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. 
And for all those who have died and in a very special way for Immaculata Ragon, for whom this Mass is offered, that they may enjoy eternal peace in the presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts that we bring to offer at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. God of compassion, we offer you these prayers, knowing of your promise to hear us. We pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Amen. be God forever. By the mystery of this order of time, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, and my redeemed, and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. For our good and the fall of this holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body 
and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. May we stay on our body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul. those at home, let us pray an act of spiritual communion. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day, and I will expose thee. Blessed Sacrament for the morning. Thank you. 